bombing that happened in Somalia is something that happens all the time. And you see that the terrorists actually use the soft targets, which are the population. They use these sort of attacks because they are fighting an asymmetrical warfare. You know, fighting an asymmetrical warfare is when you fight an enemy that you can't see. So that's the dilemma of the African Union forces that are deployed there. The other problem is that these Al-Shabaab militants are melted within the population. So it's very hard to know where they are or where they live. And you find homes in Somalia that one home has somebody who is linked to Al-Shabaab just because they want to feel protected. So you don't know when or who is giving intelligence to Al-Shabaab that this is happening here and this is going on here or this group of people is meeting here because I saw their claim saying that in the place, the beach where they bombed, they know there were ministers, there were political figures in that area at that beach. So they have a very good sense of intelligence and how to network within the community that the Somali police or the Somali military and even the African Union lack that kind of intelligence. You've been on the ground in Somalia a couple of times. You know you are aware around. Uh, from your assessment, uh, being in Somalia, uh, do you think the Somali government has what it takes uh, to, uh, to be able to fight Al-Shabaab and maybe win? and bring about a symbols of peace and stability in Somalia. The Somali forces are not ready to take over the security responsibilities of their country. And I don't think they are going to be ready in the next few months up to December, or whether they are going to be ready even when they come up with the multinational force now that they are planning. A lot of people have said that maybe uh, Al-Shabaab was kicked out of uh, the major cities, especially Mogadishu, uh, they are now out in the countryside. But uh, we we keep seeing these, you know, these attacks. Uh, how big is that threat? The threat is real, and I think Somalia's biggest threat remains to be Al Shabaab. Some scholars would argue that it is the political structure of Somalia that has actually hindered the peace in this region, which is also a factor, but. On the face of it, I think it's, it's Al-Shabaab. Now, the problem why we have Al-Shabaab and Al-Shabaab is able to do this kind of cowardly attacks is because Al-Shabaab melts within the population and works with the very population. Al-Shabaab nearly has um, a stake in every productive company in Somalia. Remember, they collect, they collect more revenue than the government. Is so. Members of parliament have a certain amount of money they, that they have to pay to Al Shabaab if they want to keep their position. Businesses must pay some money to Al Shabaab if they don't want to be bombed and they want to remain in existence. So Al Shabaab is working even within the government itself, the parliament, the communities, everything that involves the community in Somalia, Al Shabaab is there. 